Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video I want to discuss chylomicrons. We mentioned it briefly in the previous video so in this one I want to go into it in a bit more detail. So here we have a simplified drawing of a chylomicron and we can see the inside of the chylomicron is high in triglycerides and there's also a low amount of cholesterol as well. The outside of a chylomicron uh, consists of phospholipids and apolipoproteins. So you can see we have apolipoprotein A, apolipoprotein B, apolipoprotein C over here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, apolipoprotein C. And we also have apolipoprotein E. So the chylomicrons are one of the five major types of lipoproteins. The other four types are very low density lipoproteins intermediate density lipoproteins, low density lipoproteins and high density lipoproteins. I'm going to be making a separate video on these other types of lipoproteins so be sure to subscribe to the channel and then you'll get a notification when this video gets released. So back to chylomicrons, they consist of triglycerides, there's a high amount of triglycerides, phospholipids, a low amount of cholesterol and proteins. Chylomicrons are formed in the endoplasmic reticulum of enterocytes. There's actually some further processing of chylomicrons in the Golgi complex, but they are initially formed in the endoplasmic reticulum. And the function of chylomicrons is to transport dietary lipids from the intestines to adipose tissue and skeletal and cardiac muscle tissue. So the whole point of a chylomicron is to transport the lipids that you eat from your diet from the intestines to other parts of the body and once it's at the target tissue the high content of triglycerides in the chylomicrons are hydrolyzed by lipoprotein lipase and then the free fatty acids formed are absorbed by the tissue so another point i want to make is because lipids can't like travel through the bloodstream because the blood is pretty much water based we have chylomicrons to help transport these lipids so um, initially what happens is the chylomicrons are released into the lymphatic system via the central lacteals and then from there they are I think absorbed through the thoracic ducts and then following this they enter the bloodstream and from here they can be um, transported to adipose tissue skeletal and cardiac muscle tissue so the overall function of chylomicron is to help transport the hydrophobic lipids from the intestines to um, adipose, skeletal and cardiac muscle tissue initially through the lymphatic system and then into the bloodstream and it's just a way for the body to transport dietary lipids um, as lipids themselves are hydrophobic and can't be transported on its own through the water-based blood. That's everything I want to discuss on chylomicrons. The next video will be focused on lipoproteins. If you have any questions regarding this topic, write a comment below and we'll do our best to help you out. Thank you very much for watching.